What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Um, we're drinking beer. <laughs> Cop approved. <laughs> Anyways, I'm installing the turbo tonight. Just, just well, I gotta cut a bunch of stuff. But what I first gotta do is, um, so I have this stuff. So I couldn't find the right fitting, so I'm gonna have to make one. Teflon tape, some Loctite, Teflon tape, some Loctite. It's going to go into the um, compressor here. And uh, that way, that's how we're going to get the vacuum for to the wastegate. I ain't going to be running a boost controller right now. That will be later. Um, and then, yeah, so for right now, I'm going to start installing the oil line, the turbo, and all that stuff. After that. I'll install the intercooler and stuff because that's going to take a lot more time because I actually have to cut. I have to remove some stuff. I have to make some room for stuff. So, yeah, it should be fun. All right, so when you're doing a turbo build on one of these motors, what you have to do is, uh, most cases down here at the bottom, you got to drill a hole and weld on a fitting for an oil return line, which will go to the bottom of the turbo. And then I got an oil feed line, which I'm going to figure out how I'm going to route it here in a second once I get the turbo on. And then that goes on top, and then you have your um, well downpipe to your exhaust. But for right now, I'm gonna have a hood dump just so I can get it to my buddy who's a welder. I I told him to stop. He didn't want to stop. So. Okay. Boost now. Yeah. So the homeboys just left. If you look really really closely, you can kind of see some oil residue. Um, it's always smart. I mean, a lot of turbos, I guess, from factory or from the manufacturer themselves, get some sort of lubrication inside, which is fine. You probably don't have to do this. In fact, if you want, right before you start your car, you could just uh, pull your ignition or your fuel pump fuse or whatever and just crank it and let oil just pump through everything real quick, which I'm going to do anyways. But it also doesn't hurt to put... Uh, like a small, small little bit of oil all the way through, pretty much until this starts to fill up to the top. Get a hose, just put it, uh-oh, almost knocked my beer over. Um, oh, whoa, oh, oh, just lost tools. Um, just put a hose right over it, and then pretty much just blow on the other end, which I can't really show you, but just blow on the other end, to blow it all through, and let it do its work, and then kind of add some lubrication right before you start it. So... That's smart to do. Anyways, I'm mocking up the uh, intercooler. Uh, there's a bracket um, right here that was connected to this. I cut it off and then just, cause this was just holding the headlight anyways. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to drill it into here, use this for the top bracket for the intercooler. I also want a bottom bracket just for, you know, safety, I guess, for a safe measure, whatnot. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I have to make more brackets cause I only have one for this side and one for that side on the top. There is my angle grinder and there is my E30 hood or trunk that I had. I've already done a little mocking up. This is about the size I need. Um, it doesn't have to be too big. Um, and then I'm gonna draw a line right about here and that's where I'm gonna bend it. Um, should be able to. So I'm just gonna cut and then bend and then drill holes. Hi Keaton. What up bro? <laughs> So yeah, everything I did earlier, uh, just we just threw that out because Keaton hit me up and was like, hey, I'm coming over. And then I was like, oh, by the way, do you have brackets? And he's like, I got good brackets. So we just replaced them with actually good brackets instead of, yeah, well, yeah, better than <laughs> better than thin pieces of metal from different parts of cars. Yeah, so the intercooler's on. I'm trying to back up, but there's so little space in my garage and I'm recording on my phone. So, yeah. It's true, but she's in, I mean like, I'm shaking it and it's not moving now. So it would have moved with the thin piece of metal. It would have been held on. It just would have been sketchy. Give him a shot of yeah. If it's, oh, you can kind of see it's a little dark, but yeah. So when I go low, I'm going to be scraping the piss out of this. If we have to, we will. Ah, that's, it is what it is. Oh, this works out. This is great. So. And we fixed the headlights. Yeah. Oh yeah. We did fix the headlights too. Cause I don't have self tappers and he came over with them. So. Now it's on the cutting. You can kind of see the line I started drawing for how big I'm going to cut. I'm pretty much going to cut as much of this out as I possibly can to fit the intercooler piping and the 
uh, intake piping as well. So, and then after that, I'll start relocating stuff like the power steering and figuring stuff out like that. How long has it been? Oh my God, why is it so zoomed in? What up, dude? Hold on. It's like hella zoomed in. What? What's the 10 Um. Right there. What is it? Guys, check it out. I'm gonna step back. Keaton, you need to look. Bada beam, bada boom. Let's uh, let's go through this little setup real quick. I'm that was that did take a lot longer than I thought. So we got the piping right here, coming down, Some coming through assholes. there. Some big assholes. No kidding. And we got it coming from down here into the intercooler, out of the intercooler. Up in this hole uh, with a little, little S curve and boom into the intake she goes and that's nice and tight in there like yeah, that's not gonna leak that's good that's good that's good and the radiator hose fits oh dude right over it perfect Damn right, it's right over it. uh oh I gotta put my catch cam back on and make sure that fits properly but um yeah man so now we're gonna get the intake on so uh, a draw through is when you have your mass airflow um, before the turbo. Now, this helps if you have any boost leaks, uh, it's going to read that. And then the blow through is where my MAV would go right in between here, but I'm not doing that yet because I, I might just go MAP later on because I'm going to do a, a standalone ECU. But, anyways, so for now, we're going to get the intake directly right down there, right next to that pipe. And just run 18 inches. Everybody who says to do that. No, we got another. No, put it. I'll figure it out. But yeah, so that's the next step. And then I think of the installing the turbo technically would be done. I got to put the exhaust on, which right now is a hood dump, but uh, the O2 well, sensor. Like well, it, <laughs> it's just for right now until I can get it to Nick to oh, finish the good. whole exhaust. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the little shenanigans here. I'll show you guys too real quick while we're at it. Yep, that guy. Ba-boom. But see, this right here is hitting my brake line. So we have to cut it off and move it to the other side. Did he love it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude. What up, dude? Actually, let me see that real quick. I got to show off these welds. Here. So, yeah, look at, look at those welds that Nick did. So my roommate told me he was a uh, badass, but I had to see firsthand. That's fucking good shit. So yeah, that's literally how it's gonna be until I get it to Nick, and then Nick's gonna do me a full exhaust, the wastegate dump. So I gotta drive to him on a dry day. Fucking then, then the next couple videos are gonna be a shit ton of wiring stuff. All right, so uh, I actually don't have the right pipe in for the uh, intake quite yet so I have to pick like a universal one up at work and then kind of cut it and make it fit which is fine um, I need a like a hard 90 from the hard 90 because here take a look here so right here on the uh, distributor that what are you doing oh, are those my sunglasses yeah. dude these are like my safety safety glasses always always got to have safety so um, so here we have uh, the coupler resting on the distributor. Um, we needed this to make uh, room for the piping. And well, I need another like hard 90 to go straight down. So I have to get that at work, which it is what it is. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna end the video here. So intercooler and everything's installed. We'll get the intake in off camera. Super simple. I'm just gonna set it down. Remember, about 18 inches from the MAV to the turbo. And then the next, send it. and then yeah, uh, the next couple of videos I gotta I gotta wire up the fans. I gotta do some wiring to the fuel pump, and then I gotta put in the gauges. I gotta go get some plastic, get my switches and stuff in, and then the exhaust. And I think that's it. I'm gonna then, do one more like final check to make sure that I got everything covered. But those are literally the last couple things I need to get this car running. So if you're new to the channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and subscribe for the build. Subscribe if you watch all my like cinematic videos. And then I will see you guys that do watch my videos on a regular basis in the next video.
I don't know what Keaton's doing. I keep looking down. He's going to let me burn these tires off. That's what he's going to do. Yeah, Keaton wants my tires to go drifting tonight. <laughs> but. Z life. Yeah. With that, I'll see you guys all in the next video. God damn, my hair is just like sticking out right there. Okay, bye. <laughs>